Hello Capricorn and welcome to your December 2019 tarot readings with me. Dear Capricorn, if you're new to my channel, I suggest you please do subscribe so that you're notified every time I release a new video. Let's get started dear Capricorn to see what the month of December is holding for us. Well, it starts with a wonderful maternal parenting energy. You are either babysitting or you are taking care of a loved one, a family member. Uh, you are being around them, you are taking care of them. How Capricorn, I would say. Because this is how Capricorns are. They love to take care of the elders in their family. They are so family oriented. And um, I see that some of the Capricorns are going to be called upon or they themselves are going and um, are uh, wanting to, you know, help um, maybe their old parents or grandparents or uh, they want to babysit uh, for their grandchild or for um, even they, uh, they are just taking care of their own children or somebody's children okay and if they are younger ones also they are still uh, as a teenager also they are taking care of someone maybe their baby brother or baby sister this is what is happening in the first week i also see some capricorns are um i see that some of the capricorns are going to be uh, very much uh, how can i say yeah they are working for the baby projects like baby projects in the sense they are working on a project which is at a baby stage at this point of time some of the capricorns are just taking care of themselves in the first week they just say that i'm going to take a leave i'm going to be for a five days at home or a week at home and i'm just going to be relaxed and take care of my own self this is what is happening also uh, the competitive spirit is less in the first week i also see that some of you are dealing with a single parent a lady with a baby or maybe your daughter with a child uh, you're dealing uh, with them in the first week uh, there is something coming up for some of you uh, wherein the uh, one of the family members or lady who has a, it can be a sister who has a child and there is something that you're dealing with in the first week uh, at this point of time that cannot be ruled out as i feel it very strongly and also i see that um, some of the capricorns are going on the family way uh, they get the news that they are carrying a baby, they are pregnant or Capricorn men are, um, you know, they get the news that, oh, their, their, their partner is caring and that's wonderful news. And some of you are um, helping your child uh, for their project or also I see um, students working um, with younger uh, with younger classmates, you know, like uh, if you're seniors at school or um, rather I would say university, then you are helping those who are younger than you of the other batches who are younger than you. Uh, this is what I see in the first week. Uh, for some of you, you might be offered a job, uh, something to do with like a summer camp, uh, not a summer camp, where am I? Winter camp. <laughs> I would say, ooh, I have to wake up. <laughs> and uh, and uh, yes, the camp, uh, you're taking ch the kids uh, on a camp or you are enrolling uh, to go for a winter camp or some kind of sports uh, related winter sports or something like that uh, which are involving a lot of activities so it is about taking care at work also um, some Capricorns are again taking care of the project just like a baby they are taking care of it uh, there is a lot of care and um, responsibility this energy of responsibility that is what is seen in the first week then we go to the second week well the second week um you need to be careful dear capricorn and why am i saying that because the second week i'm saying that there is lots on your plate um most probably everything comes at the same time and then when everything comes at the same time poor capricorn doesn't feel so nice because then it's so difficult for capricorn because everything is at the same time and you are just you know you are like flying off your handle is like what's happening what's happening I, I i i didn't expect this to happen i didn't expect this person to come at the same time and this stuff to be on my table at the same time you know so everything is coming and you're just getting a bit you know agitated inside of you take heart my dear capricorn relax don't stress out because this is just a passage okay this is just a momentary um uh, excitement that is happening uh, in the you know overwhelming way uh, so just be careful try not to enter into any kind of uh, 
any kind of uh, conflict with anyone huh, in the second week because you might feel a bit angry but don't worry because you I see that be it in your sentimental life somebody can you know just flare up and create some kind of misunderstanding and uh, for some of you at work also I see uh, or in your personal life and professional life somebody is going to push your buttons so just take care of that uh, and you have the resources because the positive in this situation is you have the resources wherein um, wherein you can really really you know uh, deal uh, yes you are dealing with this very very well uh, my dear uh, Capricorn because you have all the resources to succeed so you don't have to take uh, any um, you know stress about it you just have to just enjoy the moment and you say okay I'm going to break things into parts and do the most important things first and if there is a conflict arising uh, then you deal with it in bits and okay pieces don't take the whole thing upon you it's not required and then the third week we are going to which has pretty much the same energy than the second week over here there's a lot of conflict uh, conflicting energy lots of opposition energy is coming your way uh, it can be a conflict inner conflict also you know conflict is not just external it can be internal also where you feel that um things are not really uh, you know um according to your wishes and so the mind starts getting into the double game yes no yes no and that creates a conflict sort things out in a very pleasant way with your loved ones with your own self to resolve a conflict the best thing is to resolve it inside of you first you cannot resolve it outside when inside you are muddled up or confused right my dear capricorn so in the third week just resolve it inside of you just ask what is the root cause of this conflict try to go to the roots always never just take i mean it's my own experience i i don't like to take things just what i see i don't believe it i like to go really 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 behind into the roots you know because this is where the problems are what caused it today we are just getting the fruit of it but we have to go to the root of it okay so just dive deeper to the heart of the subject in order to resolve this conflict whatever it is either it is arising in your personal life or it is arising in your professional life just go to those depths my dear Capricorn and when you have touched the roots of the matter when you have just you know um, resolved that part at that time my dear Capricorn I would like to tell you is that when you heal the roots, the fruit automatically will start becoming better from next time. So deal with that conflict, no matter what it is, wherever you are facing it, because there is the energy in the second and third week, which is um, getting you into a kind of a rivalry, a kind of an argument with closed ones or with colleagues. And even inside of you, you are getting discouraged and um, your morale falls low. So this is why I'm saying, take care of the roots and then improve the quality of the fruits. Okay, my dear Capricorn? And then we are going to the last week. And this is a wonderful week because you feel at home. Most probably some of you are moving to your new home. Some of you are having lots of relatives. And yes, it is the festive week, the Christmas week and the end of the year celebrations coming in in the last week. And you are feeling at home not in competition with anyone, just like in the first week, not in competition with anyone, just soaking and feeling how blessed I am. This is what you're going to feel, how blessed I am to be surrounded with such a lovely family, such loving people, such loving friends, and all these family members of mine. This is what you're going to feel in the last week. You're feeling at home, even at work also, you're feeling so good about everything. You're feeling, some of you might even change jobs in the last week. I'm seeing that there is a chance that uh, you are going to another department to work in another department. This is what is, excuse me, this is what is seen in the last week uh, for you, my dear Capricorn. And um, some of you are introspecting and it's a wonderful time to introspect, my dear Capricorn, because such a long way you have come from January to December. You have been protected by the Divine 
you saw those ups and downs but you were protected today you are listening to me i am speaking to you we are blessed we are blessed to be here we are blessed to be alive yes my dear capricorn it's a time of gratitude it is a time of introspection it is a time of thanking the divine for all that the divine has given to us and for all that life has offered to us in the form of experiences in the form of blessings yes my dear capricorn and this is the last week that you're going to feel all this gratitude and the more you're grateful the more you will have uh, things to be grateful about my dear capricorn and in the last week i also see some of you are signing um for a house for a new property this is what i'm seeing even for the people uh, the capricornians who are into this you know uh, real estate you are going to be uh, doing a pretty good job in here some investments are seen over here also hmm. lovely lovely time for you my dear capricorns the last week and uh, surrounded by like minded people surrounded with harmony love and joy and satisfaction this is what is seen over here and i also see um, that some of you might be dealing also with some kind of a uh, government organizations in the last week uh, some kind of paperwork is happening also over here and uh, i see that there will be positive results also because um, this is an energy of grounding this is an energy of being at peace with yourself and feeling at home yeah however take care my dear capricorns uh, regarding your joints and all if you suffer from joint pains knee pains and all you need to take care in the last week okay stay warm and stay safe and uh, yes that's what i would like to say and enjoy uh, this loving bond with your loved ones in the last week last week is a wonderful wonderful auspicious energy for you my dear capricorn so thank you my dear capricorn i take this occasion of the end of the year to thank each and every one of you for being there for following my readings for uh, commenting for sharing for liking for all the things that you do so wonderfully for me uh -huh. and uh, thank you for remembering me in your prayers if you feel i help you in any way please do remember me in your prayers and i really really thank you from the bottom of my heart for for just being there and uh, for encouraging me uh, because uh, those good vibes that you send towards me are making my days that's what i can say and uh, all that you do knowingly or unknowingly um, i feel that uh, you're also doing a great job <laughs> you keep on telling me that but i feel you are doing a great job because you don't know each of us are special you know and the little things that we do for each other are the very big things uh, it's not about you know all those big gifts and things like that it's just about the love that we share and i really really thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the love that you have shared with me and i reciprocate it to each and every one of you thank you very much and may god bless you every every moment of your life bye bye god bless please do like share and comment and i shall see you next time and for those capricorns who are starting to celebrate their birthday at the end of the year with this auspicious energy a very happy birthday and i'm going to come and wish you again <laughs> bye, -bye.